Welcome back to my channel, The Crafty Puerto Rican. I'm Juana Luisa. So uh, this is a part two of a video that I released last week. Um, and it comprises both videos, the one that I did using the 5x12. Um, and we do a full embroidery with no applique added. Another video which we use the 5x7 hook and we did a full um, applique design. In this second part, I'm going to include uh, how to do the same design. I decided to do the same design so that we can compare at the end. But this time we're going to be using the 5x12 hoop um, and we're going to do a full applique design, same one. Um, there are ways to do it. Um, some people don't know that you can do it and they opt to do only full um, embroidery and, or they will uh, add an applique on one each either side of the hoop. I'm not going to go through the process of choosing the hoop because that is part of the other video. How I did this hooping and also how do I show this hoop on Embrilliance. You can go back to see that video that was done last week. This um, machine is a SC1900. It's a brother SC1900. It's a flat single needle machine. So once I have my 5x12 hoop, you're going to notice there's a line in the middle. Okay. Right here, I'm just using the cursors to show. And then you're going to also know that there's one side and the other side. I'm going to enlarge the view so that you can see it better. I think that's better right there. And if you notice right here, there's two extra lines, this line and this line. And these are lines are very important to know because that's what's going to help us to do the uh, applique all full completely across. All right. I'm going to go ahead and look for my file. I already did this, so I'm going to look for my file. The file that I use is a 6x10 because it's easier to reduce it to the size that I want. You can use a 5x7 design also, but then you have to really like add a lot of um, sizing and that's going to distort um, the amount of stitches that you should um, use. And I, you know, if you remember from the last video, I told you that it's not a good idea to enlarge the original design more than 20% of the regular 100% that it comes because then it will distort the whole file. And that depends also on the, on, on the design. Most files that are affected are the um, embroidery part. It's gonna really like look, you know, bad. The stitches are not gonna come up good. So don't don't try to enlarge it more than um 20% of the original size. That's why I chose a six by ten file as opposed to the five by seven. So I'm gonna um go to my files up in the try to follow the um, cursor. So I'm gonna go to my file. Okay, and for this you need to have your OS USB on because I keep all my files in the USB. Since I already did this design, um, you know when you do your design in Brilliance, you have a yellow little box and the blue one. These are the original um, sections, and this is the ones that, that you um, already worked on the yellow box. I don't know if, you're, if you have embryos, you know what I mean. I don't know if this applies to another um, software, but I'm, you know, the only thing I can show you is with embryo because that's the one that I own. Um, so I'm going to show so it's right here and I'm going to open it. You see, I already have it set up, but let's see that you open this file and it's all the way back here, big like that. Because I mean, Right now, it shows me that it's uh, uh, 10 and 1 quarter, which was the one I already embroidered. So it's like that, right? If you notice this line right here, now I'm going to enlarge it again so you can see better what I'm talking about. There's the three lines. This is the middle line. If you see, this is all, all, all applique. This line right here are the sections that you allow to put a design on. If you choose to do this side, then you can extend all this section all the way to this line. Try not to pass over because then the file is not going to work for the, um, for the uh, applique. Same thing applied to this side. You can enlarge all these sections all the way up here. But you see, this, you see how this one passes the line, the pumpkin? 
satin stitch. I need to make a smaller because I don't want this to overpass this line. All right. Because this right here is a full five by seven. And if you start from this line over here, it's a full by five by seven. This is the middle. So, you know, this designs work, um, you know, original in one hoop. So you want to make sure that this doesn't overpass here. Or in this case, if it's another one, this part, you don't want this part to overpass it. I chose to divide the pumpkin on one file and the VE on the other file. So the way I do it, I'm going to make it smaller. As much as I can right here. You see, I'm right on the line. This gave me an 11, but what happened? If you see on the top right here, on the sides, if you follow the cursors, where it tells you the inches is 11. It's 20, 126%. Uh, you can work with that. I prefer to put it a little bit smaller. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I don't want really to. I usually don't like to overpass my 20% over. So I took it to 120.9. I mean, that's close enough. And the height is five inches. That's good. Now, if you notice, this is off center. So now I had to bring it back closer to as close as I can. On this file, this is the closest I can get it to center. If you notice here, um, it's not centered. But you cannot center doing this. If you do the center... Um, if you put decide to center it up here, and you need to know this um, um, software so you can understand what I'm saying. Up here is the center button. If I push center, look what happened. It passes the line. Okay? It passes the line. If you notice right here, I don't want that because that can be trouble when I try to do my my embroidery. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try, I'm going to Take it back a little bit again. I don't want it to pass that. Okay, so this, in, if I don't want this to happen, what you decide to do is then you're going to make the design smaller. Okay, just make it smaller. So that you can have room to move it to the center. Okay, so now I'm going to make the height five again. Five. And then I'm going to move it to the right. You see, and you're going to, that's, there's more space in here. You see, you have to take it as, as much as you can. This depends on your design. On this particular design, this is the other one quarter. You're going to keep making it smaller until you can center it. Don't use a center um, option up there because it's not going to work. Same thing. Don't try to center it in your machine once you do this because it's going to, make the whole thing off again you see now i got it there and 10 1 8 and it's pretty much you know the amount of let me put the grid so you can have an idea what i'm talking about i'm gonna just choose the grid i usually don't use the grid but for this i'm gonna use the grid if you notice and you count the spaces you know it's a little bit off i mean but if you still want it to be 100 percent center you keep making it a little bit smaller Okay, and then keep moving to the right. Um, keep moving the, um, the design to the right. In this case, now I went down to 10 inch inches in length. And again, remember people, this is in case of this design. Each design is different, okay? Um, if you have lettering um, applique, it might be even easier to divide in two different files. But in this case, because this design is so overlapped, this is an overlap design. So that's why I have to be very careful. If you have a design that is not overlap, you just, you know, make it in the middle and you can center. Right now, at 10 inches, this is pretty much okay for me. Okay. 
And that's the way you do it, all right? I'm going to go ahead and go to the embroidery machine. I decided to record a little bit of the embroidery. I'm not making any explanation. I'm not talking about what I use. I'm not doing it just straight embroidery because I've, I've covered all of this on part one of this design that I did in the five by seven. And also I included how to hoop and all the things that I used and all the elements that we used uh, to go to that point of embroidery on the one before that, which we used the five by 12 full embroidery with no applique. In that video, I give you all the in and outs on how to hoop it and how to position it in the machine and everything. But in this one, all I do is straight, straight embroidery because it's the same thing. And at the end, you're going to see the results. Um, yeah, and just play with it, okay? Just play with it. But like I said, you're going to be amazed at how beautiful it looks. It embroidered the whole thing. And I am at least I am very happy because I've never um, done a full-blown uh, applique on the 5x12 hoop. And this is a 10 inches long right now. Each design is going to work different, and you have to work it out. Yes, you can embroider applique, full applique, on a 5x12 um, hoop. All right? So I see you in a little bit.
So this is the end. So yeah, so I finished this um, design on the 5x12 repositional hoop. Last week I did the same design into a hoodie and I used my 5x7. Um, by then I didn't, I couldn't figure it out how to do it on the 5x12, a full applique. I have been using this hoop for a while, almost a year, but I always did it using full embroidery with no applique. And, and the ones that I did the applique, like in blankets for um, the minky blanket, I always used to do the embroidery on one side and then the name of the shawl on the other side on the top. Um, but now I know how to do it. Um, this is a large design. It's almost, this is 10 and a half length. It is a full, almost 11. It's 10 and three quarters length. So this is the difference between the one that I did earlier um, on the previous video. Um, the top one is the hoodie that I did. I was on in a 5 by 7 hoop. And then this one is the one that we just did and you notice the difference. I was able to utilize a whole five inches of hoop and here it was um, almost 11. It was like 10 and three quarters length on this one. So it's a big difference when you enlarge the view, uh, the design on the um, five by 12 um, repositional hoop. So yes, people, it's a big difference. I mean, this is cute. I like both. So I just wanted to see the difference and it's a difference so it's a big difference actually so yeah so i thought that you wanted you guys would like to see the difference in comparison one to the other this is the end of the tutorial thank you for coming back to my channel the crafty puerto rican this is the end product i love it it's a nice size um if you're not subscribed consider subscribing to my channel um, and learn a lot about different kind of crafting. For those who are already here with me in my channel, thank you for returning. If you have any question about the whole process, go ahead and ask the question down into the description box and I will be able to answer as best as I can. See you later. Thank you for coming. Hasta luego. Bye-bye.